We've had him on the show a few times. Not not technically, but I mean in card form. And today we are going to highlight his career. I got a bit of stature, some new MVP. You definitely know there's going to be some OPG Platinum. And some new Metal Universe. And that is all coming up on this episode of In The Box, a hockey card show. And here we go. That's my little waltz to the chair prior to filming. And in case you're wondering, yes, that is the theme to the Smurfs. <laughs> no idea how I remember something from so long ago. However, I mean, it kind of gets stuck in your head, I suppose. The same as the Muppets Menomina song. Menomina. 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 And that one was for you. That for my agent. <laughs> If you're unsure as to what you're watching right now, well, let me fill you in and welcome you to ITB, a hockey card show. It's number 78 in the series. Alrighty then. Absolutely horrible imitation of Jim Carrey. I know. But it works. Kind of. Sort of. <laughs> eh, just chalk it up to being a decent day. Let me get right into this week's player profile. Born on December 10th, 1969 in Simcoe, Ontario, Canada. Our player today was drafted 70th overall in the 1988 draft by the Los Angeles Kings and had a 20 season NHL career from 1989 to 2004 and came right back in 2005 to 2010 and was only part of three different teams during his time in the NHL with the Colorado Avalanche, the Los Angeles Kings, and the San Jose Sharks. His number retired by the Los Angeles Kings, big number four, Rob Blake. Blake has two awards under his belt, starting with the James Norris Trophy that he won in 1988, and was of course a Stanley Cup champion in 2000-2001. He was also part of the all-rookie team in 1991, was a first all-star team defenseman in 1998, and a second all-star team defenseman in three consecutive years, 2000, 2001, and 2002, and is no stranger to international awards, with a gold medal in the Winter Olympics in 2002, and two gold medals in the World Championships in 1994 and 1997 and a silver medal in the World Championships in 1991. Blake succeeded Wayne Gretzky as the Los Angeles Kings captain in late 1995-96, serving in 2000-2001 and once again in 2007-2008, and also served as a captain of the San Jose Sharks in 2009-2010. Blake also helped the Kings reach the Stanley Cup Final for their first time in franchise history in 1993. Blake is a six-time winner of the Kings Most Outstanding Defenseman Award from 1990-91 to 1993-94, 1997-98, and again in 1999-2000, and a two-time winner of the team's Most Valuable Player Award in 1997-98, and again in 1999-2000. Blake is on the King's list of all-time leaders in the franchise by defensemen with the following. Games played with 805. Goals with 161. Assists with 333. And points equaling to 494. And made seven NHL All-Star Game appearances in 1994. 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, and lastly 2004. He was also named the best defenseman in the 1997 World Championships, once again in 1998 at the Winter Olympics. His slap shot made guys back off. When he was with us on the power play, we definitely got a little more room out there. As quoted by his teammate Joe Sackick regarding Rob Blake. 
And that's this week's player profile. So prior to arranging this episode, I decided to check some of the dates on some of the packages that are still remaining in the mailbox. Therefore, I did grab a few and check their dates and found out they have been sitting here for quite some time. So what better time is now than to check out what's in the mailbox? <laughs> I made it work. I made it work. <laughs> Let's go. Well, all right. Let's get back into the swing of things, shall we? So I have a couple of packages here all ready to be opened up. And I'm really curious about this one because it has been sitting here for quite a while. And... Uh, <laughs> Really, really curious as to what's in here. This is coming in from uh, Brad from uh, Hampton, New Brunswick. That's that's what I'm reading, Hampton. However, the uh, Canada Post sticker says St. John's, New Brunswick. So maybe it's just a town close to St. John's. Regardless, that is its point of origin before landing its final home here. In Ontario all right as you can hear me shredding away at this tape it's actually not bad of a tape job to be honest with you then I'll just display the packages that we got okay we all set all right let's just line these up like this or pile them up like this and Turn on the card cam. Voila. There we go. That is our stack from Brad. So let's dip into this right now because that's what we're here for. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yes, there's more than one card in each top loader there. So... We will take them out. That seems like a pretty good idea to me. Okay, let's check out and see what we got. Here we go. Skybox Premium Prospects Jordan Harris. That's a nice looking card, eh? That's freaking nice. This coming in from 2022-23 um, Metal Universe. Very nice. Itchy brow there. Clark. Yeah, they're not too bad. Not too bad. It's, uh, it's a, the, the wavy part's a little strange, uh, in my opinion. But uh, other than that, it's all right. Owen Power. There we go. That's that's not so so bad. That one there. Oh, that's a pretty cool backing. Look at that. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Once again, from Metal Universe. Dylan Sandberg. Yeah, yeah, these are all new. Oh, sorry about that. And... Well, again, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that name, to be quite honest with you guys. At least not yet. At least not yet. In time, in time. I that that name I can't even read it. Uh, Shaf is it Shafi? I can't. The cur I can read cursive. Don't get me wrong. I can read cursive, but sometimes, sometimes it's hard to read. On the card, sometimes this is Rossi. What's his first name? Does it say Marco? Marco Rossi. Okay. All right. All right. We're getting it. We're getting it. <laughs> oh man all right what else we got let's go kale mccarr aspects that's just that's i don't i don't know i don't know how i feel about that that looks just very strange does that look I, <laughs> that just looks really strange to me yeah okay let's keep going ken johnson that looks so odd. 
I'm a little off by this, to be honest with you guys. I mean, if that was in the background, maybe. Not that even having it in the background would make much sense, in, in my opinion. But that looks so strange to put that in the player like that. I don't know how I feel about these guys. About those, uh, those inserts. I'm a little off by that. Let's move on. Let's see what else we got. Open up this top loader. And what do we got? We got a Trevor Zegris. So I'm, I don't know. I'm assuming maybe all these are Metal Universe. I'm guessing. Because so far they all are. Johnston. We've got uh, Holloway. These, these are not bad. These are nice looking cards. Jack Quinn. Marco Rossi once again. Yeah, these... I don't, yeah, they're, they're not bad. These ones are not that bad looking, I suppose. Yeah. I mean... It's, n it's nothing like that. That's, <laughs> that's just... I don't know. That's just strange to me. Just strange. Okay. Next one. Next one. Hold on. Uh, I didn't take the tape off of this one yet. So allow me to do that real quick. Have tape stuck to my hand. I gotta shake it off. Shake it off. Oh, unless it sticks. Sticks. <laughs> there we go. All right. Here we go. All right. All right. We got some more Jack Hughes. Jason Robertson. Mitch Marner. Yeah, these are not these are not too bad looking. McKinnon. Chesterkin. Goudreau. Sorkin. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe it was a, a whole lot. I don't rem I don't remember. Whole lot maybe of stuff, a claim sale maybe. Ooh, these are pretty fancy looking. Flash the glove. Bobrovsky. That you see that's nice. That's all right. Definitely. Yes, yes, yes. Take a look at the back. Eh, nothing too too special. Eh, it's pretty nice though. Pretty nice. What else we got? What else? What else? What else? Bottle Rockets. Mason McTavish. Yeah, these designs are uh, not too bad at all. And an Ovechkin. Not so bad. Don't have any of these. That's likely why I'm getting them now. This, uh, this is my first batch of the newest Metal Universe. And we've got Clark. I don't. I wouldn't, I don't. Not entirely sure what this subset is called, though. I should have looked into that, but I hadn't uh, hadn't had time to really look into very much with the the new releases lately. So it'll just have to wait till I look that up. And oh, that's pretty cool. An MVP talent. That's an that's an older design. They brought it back. They brought that back. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. What's next? What do we got? Oh, another MVP. Stars of the Rink. Oh, that's all right. Ice Reps. Logan Couture. <laughs> SJ Sharky. Oh, man. Oh, man. And last one from that little bunch. Bergeron, Stars of the Rink. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's all right. Well, all right. Okay. Let's open up another one of these here. Let's go. Oh, man. I'm... <sighs> wow. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Opening up this one. See, we got another MVP, Stars of the Rink there at the 
top. Slice that. Take her out. Cool thing about this is that a lot of these top loaders seem pretty new, so pretty good for reusing to, to ship out more stuff. Quinn Hughes, Stars of the Rink. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's a stature. Okay, nice. Legendary Heights. I'm a fan of stature. Definitely. I like a lot. A lot, a lot of their uh, their inserts. What do we have next? Oh, another one, Daryl Sittler. That's a good one. It's a nice one to have. Here's that, 2021, 22. All right. All right, this one is in a top loader. Look at that, Quinn Hughes. Numbered out of 99 copies. Nice, very cool, very cool. What else do we have here? Bennington, once again, numbered out of 99 right there in the corner. Both from Ice. From 2020-21 uh, Ice, actually. Pretty cool. What else? Matthew Barzal, Sub-Zero. From Ice. 2021-22. Very cool. Okay. I don't know. It looks like maybe there's just a single card in this one. Could be wrong, though. No, there's two. Okay. McKinnon, Sub-Zero. And what's the last one we've got? Oh, trying to read the name. I can't read it. It's too dark. <laughs> Maybe you guys can see it. I can't see it. Not through the camera anyways. Flash of the game. Or Flash of the game. Flash, <laughs> flash of the club. Or flash the glow. Oh my gosh, I'm just I'm just totally butchering this. Totally butchering it. Okay. Allow me to continue on. Let's just forget everything I just said. Alright, let's go. <laughs> okay, got two more cards in the first one here. On Zay Kopitar Sub Zero from Ice. And another one of the... Oh, I'm going to have a hard time reading this one, too. But I th I want to say it's Sorkin. Oh, f why didn't I look on the back of the other one? <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Uh, there we go. Flash the glove. I didn't screw it up that time. Oh, this is not bad, though. Not bad. I totally forgot about this stuff. Totally. All right. This is the last package. And I, I may have done it just fast enough that we can probably slam some more in there. All right, alternate threads. That's that's pretty nice from MVP. Something a little different. So Pasternak, McAvoy, and Swayman. Very cool, very cool. Oh, look at that. Stature, Ron Hextall. And it looks like we got another one right behind him. Bernie Nichols. Hey, that's nice. That's nice. I'll take him. I'll take him. Uh, we got a Ross Colton limited future watch numbered out of 99 copies. Indeedy, I will take it. And the last one here, Turcotte. Future watch limited out of 99 copies. 2021 22 sp authentic very cool a couple of really good ones in there man for sure candidates for the uh you know the end of the show you know the deal now i've got uh what do i got i got um i don't know if we'll be able to get these both of them but uh, i have two packages we'll start with one this one coming in from jay in hartington ontario so we will just get this one slid open and see what we get. There we go. Now there's, there's a, <laughs> there's a package job if I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, Jay. Um, <laughs> I gotta figure out how to get in here. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Let me um, let me work away at this a little bit. Now I will say this, that was definitely quite the packing job, <laughs> but they arrived safely, that's what matters, so let's get right into it right now. So here is the stack, the stack, and let's dig in, see what we got. Bataglia, sign of the times, this is an older SPA. Uh... It's going to be too hard to see. I want to say it's 1998, maybe 1999. Um, still slowly working away at this set because I don't see them very often. And we've got a Parkhurst Hailstorm. Brent Burns. I'm a fan of the Hailstorm cards, actually. And Barenka. Oh, wow. From good old classic. This is oh, numbered, eh? Oh my gosh, 1,150 copies. But I actually liked, I actually liked this kind of marble look that they did. That was kind of cool. That's the best thing that I would call is the marble, a marble look. Next up, what do we got? It's a Young Guns canvas. I will never say no to Young Guns canvas cards because they're uh, they're not. They don't, what, what am I going to say? I see them fairly often, but to to obtain them, completely different story. I find uh, I find sometimes they go a little beyond than what I feel they're probably worth sometimes, but um, when I come across some that are relatively reasonable, I guess, in price, then I'll, I'll snag them. And we have got... Oh, I can't even read that. I can't even read that. It's white writing on a light blue. It's hard for me to read it. But is a nice ice premieres jersey. We've got some young guns. Always getting young guns in. Kind of I kind of slowed down on getting young guns though, but every now and then they'll pop up, which is fine. Tyler Toffoli, the uh, Violet Pixels, parallel, numbered out of 399 copies. From uh, OPG Platinum. We've got Ty Smith, the Red, from OPG. This is from 2021-22. Uh, and an Angelo Allure, the... Uh, Red Rainbow Parallel. Another Parallel, Zach Parise. This is the uh, Yellow Taxi Parallel. Not numbered, unfortunately. What else do we got? Platinum. Oh. Oh, I'm starting to get a flashback here. I'm starting to get a flashback on a conversation I had with Mr. J, actually. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. Yes, 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 yes. And I think it was in regards to what you're seeing on your screen right now. A bunch of um, Opichi Platinum inserts and parallels. Thus, 
they have arrived. Yeah, oh wow, yeah, this is, yeah, now I remember. Now I remember. So we'll just take a quick look at these. Have a moment of silence so you don't have to listen to me saying the names. You guys can, you guys know who these guys are. Ooh, it's a Byfield. Rookie for Parker's to blue. Hello. Nice. What's this fall promotion? Nice. Okay. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. All right. I got it. City Selly Gallagher from uh, Allure. Still need a few of these. Not too many, but a few. Chris Kreider. Oh, now that is a parallel. The Arctic Freeze. They're numbered out of 99 copies, but look at how beautiful that is. That, like that blue, and it has that reflective. That is, that's a beautiful parallel. That is awesome. I'll, I'll never, ever, ever get this set, and if I can ever hang on to things properly here. I'll never ever complete this set considering they're out of 99, but whew, that's a beautiful, beautiful card. Carrick Artifacts Rookie Jersey. It's an older one from 1617 Artifacts. And oh, Romanov. No peachy uh, Premier. That is the uh, subset. Kind of like a mini. Actually, I, I kind of prefer these ones as opposed to the uh, the mini mini. Oh, I wish I had some lying around here, but um, yeah, I actually like this the size as opposed to the little tiny ones they uh, they produce sometimes. Next up, oh, we don't see too many of these. We are, actually, I think I've gotten a couple of these on the show in the past. I think, and we've got a Tavares. UD game jersey. That's not too shabby. Quinton Byfield. What's with, what's with this top loader, man? It's all it's all cut up. <laughs> I guess you use what you got, right? SPX finite. And is this the last card? No. Nope. I think we got. Oh, there's another one all cut up. There we go. Debut dates, jersey, and another one all cut up. Let's take a look. Here's a bit of an older one. Uh, this is John LeClaire. Fundamentally sound. That's pretty cool. I like. I like that they did that with that set. This is uh, from Upper Deck Vintage. How they did that die cut. Yeah. Wish they went back and did more of those. And that's is it for that now there is another package of course i do not have the time to actually dip into that however we will dip into what our card picks are of the episode well i didn't realize how much my my pad here shifted away should be more centered like that all right let's get right into it right now the runner up is uh this mason mctavish uh bottle rockets it's actually a pretty cool looking card. Um, it's a little something different, I would say. And uh, the background is not too shabby, to say the least. It's, uh, it's of course, a darker card. <laughs> one of the reasons why it's one of the uh, runner-ups. There we have it. And I'm sure you guys probably had an inkling of an idea of what the card of the episode will be so let's just get to it right now this chris Kreider, love 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 this insert card uh number 99 the arctic freeze parallel it's just you know I, I've, I've already said it before i like the blue i like how they they have it reflective it's just it looks it's very it's not like a yellow taxi or you know a pink lollipop or whatever kind of weird other parallel names and sets they have this one to me makes sense arctic freeze is blue you know coldness hockey you know it all kind of blends together so that makes it today's card of the episode so prior to the episode i was all set ready and excited let's do this let's go i'm starting to wonder if there's a certain 
point in the card segment <laughs> when you can clearly tell my fatigue kick in. Yeah, I just feel like my excitement was like super high and was gradually getting lower until it wasn't there anymore. I mean, it's always there. It's just sometimes it's just not as sparkly as other times, I suppose. Sparkly on my show, I use the word sparkly. Come on. Come on. Nonetheless, a huge thank you to Brad and Jay for sending that in for some amazing content on the show. So remember, that collecting does not have to break the bank. And we'll be coming back here in a few short days because we have got more to get through. But until then, just keep that amazing collection that you have started going and going strong. Stay healthy and safe. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you. Take care.